Welcome to Sugar Shack 7 today. Today we're going to continue on with our series, Cool and Weird Places in Texas. How many of us know Texas is a big, big state? And I'm sure many of you Texans don't even know about some of these places that we are featuring on this new series. We've got so many places that we're going to share with you that uh, make sure you stay tuned and subscribe. And also, we've got a lot of awesome videos on our channel. We are adding about five to ten a week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one, Cadillac Ranch in Amarillo, Texas, a sculpture made in 10 Cadillacs as a monument to the Golden Age as the American automobile. Standing along Route 66 west of Amarillo, Texas, Cadillac Ranch was invented and built by a group of art hippies imported from San Francisco. They called themselves the Ant Farm and their silent partner was an Amarillo billionaire, Stanley Marsh. He wanted a piece of public art that would baffle the locals, and the hippies came up with a tribute to the evolution of the Cadillac tail fin. Number two, Munster Mansion in Waxuhachie, Texas. A Victorian mansion painstakingly reproduced to appear just as the Munster family home did on TV. Founded in 2002, the Munster Mansion is the proud home and hard work of Sandra and Charles McKee. The Munster Mansion is a replica of the house used in the Munsters, the 60s sitcom. It has been painstakingly recreated room by room through watching and re-watching footage from the show. Many pieces in the house are from the show and exact matches of items from the show. This is a living work as each year more detail is added and more items collected to make it to be an exact match as it can be. Number three, Toy Joy in Austin, Texas, a store full of vintage toys designed to bring out the kid and even the crustiest of adults. It's a must for all because it's such a treat to visit. You will not believe the treasures stuffed inside this shop. Everything you could ever think of and some things you would not even expect. Number four, Desertron, the superconducting super collider in Waxuhachie, Texas. A Texas-sized particle collider that was abandoned due to its Texas-sized budget. Today, the site looks like a decrepit office park dropped in the middle of nowhere on the surface while the tunnels were stripped of any equipment and filled with water to preserve them. However, if you locate the buildings above ground, you can still find portals to the miles of drowned tunnels. Plans to the derelict site have included everything from mushroom farms to data storage in the years since the colossal failure. But despite local protests, the land was purchased by a chemical company who will hopefully find a good use for one of America's most ambitious scientific missteps. Number five, Hope Outdoor Gallery in Austin, Texas. This spelled condo development reborn as an emerging street art hub. Since opening in 2011, Austin's Hope Outdoor Gallery has become an unexpected mecca for street artists around the world and a hot spot for tours to snap a few pictures. The three-tiered brick jungle off 11th and Baylor Street welcomes hundreds if not thousands of people daily either spray paint a piece of artwork or just bring visitors to check it out. In fact, so many people use the space as sort of an open mic for spray painting, the same piece doesn't last longer than a few days. Number six, Enchanted Rock in Fredericksburg, Texas. An enormous pink granite batholith, long attributed with spiritual powers by the Tonkawa Indians, folklore of local Tonkawa, Apache, and Comanche tribes, ascribes magical and spiritual powers to the rock, hence the name Enchanted Rock. While attempting to hide from Anglo settlers in the area, the natives would hide on top two tiers of the rock, where they were invisible to the ground below. Number seven, Austin's Moonlit Towers in Austin, Texas. A moonlit tower is a lighting structure designed to illuminate areas of the town or city at night. The towers were popular in the 19th century in cities across the United States and Europe. They were most common in the 1980s and 1990s. Austin, Texas is the only city in the world known to have moonlit towers. They are 165 feet tall with foundations 15 feet wide. In 1993, the city of Austin 
dismantled the towers and restored every bolt turnbuckle and guy wire as part of a $1.3 million project, the completion of which was celebrated in 1995 with a city-wide festival. Thank you for stopping by at Sugar Shack 7 today. Hope you are enjoying this new series, Cool and Weird Places in Texas. We've got a lot more coming out, and make sure you look at our channel. We've got a lot of awesome videos here for you at Sugar Shack 7. Have an awesome day.